Welcome to Insurrection Field in Brain Washington BS, home of the Cadavers. Cadavers? That name sucks. I prefer it when they were called the Dead Skins. Why don't they just rename the team the Brain Washington Physically Challenged Skins or the Embalmed with All Natural Ingredient Skins? Today's matchup promises severed limbs and ruined careers. The Simpson Nasty Mangles take on the Brain Washington Cadavers. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Once again, everyone, Grim Blitzrow here, along with Brickhead Mulligan. Huh? Hey, how'd your checkup go? Well, good news, bad news. Doc says I passed my physical. Oh, that's good. But I flunked my model. Not too good. Well, I, it's 50-50. Bad odds that I get in Vegas. Get a point. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? The players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. And it's first and ten. I've seen this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. Oh, he's going berserk. The ball carrier better watch out because if he gets hit, he... And the NFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8. The greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Where? when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. Is that right, Slim? That penalty makes no sense. Hey, something ain't kosher here, and I'm not talking about the corned beef with extra mayo. Yeah, down in less than he defense had enough with this rep and jumps off sides to kill him <laughs> first down and seven Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. He goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make him pay. Punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. And it's first and ten. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. So is that cheerleader. Second down and ten. brain cells before that hit. I know I said never hit a man when he's down. He's just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. <laughs> and it's 
It's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. And there's another. Oh, it's like a bloodmobile crashing into a slaughterhouse. And it's first and ten. The quarterback just, he can go all the way. He's at the 40. The 30. He's at the 20. The 10. That is such bullshit. This game is bucking rigged. I tell you, the programmers are speeding up the defense. I'm going to write an email to that fucker. How much? First down and six. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. First and ten. Second down and two. And he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get something going here. And it's first and ten. The defense didn't give an inch. No gain on that play. Second down and nine. Passes for a touchdown. <laughs> 
And they line up for the extra point. Straight through the uprights. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. Oh, mama, he just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. And it's first and ten. Doubled his feet so well on that play. He should go to lost weight. Oh, and you can bury that guy because he is dead. Oh, did you see what number he was? I gotta check it off my dead mutant bingo card. I only need one more. And it's first and ten. Four yards on that one, and he was just starting to pick up some speed. Hey, Grim, I know a guy if that's what you're after. Second down and six. Second down and ten. And I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for this. He is fighting for every yard. And he sends him to the ground with an extra man. Oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon Raby blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. And it's first and ten. Oh, and they just deflated the quarterback's balls right there. Second down and long. fighting the offense lost another running back and only to remain on their roster when a team loses all their running backs they lose their ability to run the ball yeah like that man rip out your tongue you won't be able to speak do us something we don't know genius third down and well good luck He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. He refused. He'll pick up the first down with a nice piece of running there. It's anyone's game at the end of quarter one. And it's first and ten. First and ten. He's got his beast boost working. The player just transformed into a violent form of pure badass. Boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast ham a sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? Yeah, still working on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah. Nah, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. The offense is down to their last running back. When he bites the dust, they can only pass. Yeah, well, at least they don't have to forfeit, Grim. 
That's right, but now the defense can focus on killing the receivers. And it's first and ten. away first down and it's first and ten and he was running like he had a load in his pants picks up maybe two uh, we always ran with a load in our pants Grim. it's a pretty good defensive tool yeah, except the zombies they are freaks I don't know whose eyes they keep. Boom! <laughs> and it's first and ten. And that's a run for no gain. Second down and ten. And he was steering a pick six but dropped the interception. And it's why he's on defense, schmuck. Third down and ten. If you don't think you can make the interception, batting it down is the next best thing. Great advice, Grim. That receiver's gonna go far in this league if he listens to you. I wasn't talking to... Yeah, never mind. Yes, Brick, he will. And he put all of his foot into that one. He's got... Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutiny. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. And it's first and ten. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. That's a touchdown saving tackle right there. First and ten. That's a T-yard pass play, and that's not going to get it done. The offense needs to move the ball upfield. And that'll be second and eight to go. Oh, sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. That was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort. And he just got so mad and cursed anyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but they're not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I don't really know right now. What day is it? And with another pick, the QB says, I don't know almost throw interceptions, but when I do, it's when the game is on the line. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Uh, I don't think you can say that, man. Who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven? What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. It's good. Hey, 
Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. First and ten. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. And it's first and ten. At this rate, the QB is going to have more. Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? And it's first and ten. Oh, and he just turned ginormous. Look out! Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim. But my watch is a bit slow. And the defense jumps outside. Now the QB has to try to run out of bounds before they get to him. Needless to say, with seven crazed defenders coming after him, that's not easy. Ah, the old quarterback shellac play. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Wrestles away from that tackle. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. And it's first and ten. And the defense gets the quarterback for a sack. <laughs> the offense calls a timeout. This is why you save your timeouts. You can use them in the two-minute warning. No! Grim. Second down and more than the QB would like. Oh, and he might have just saved a touchdown on that deflection. Third down and long. Gave up a lot of yards on that pass play. They'll need to regroup quickly. A timeout is called by the quarterback. They have one left. And kickers practice for this kind of kick every day. Pretty standard. Nothing standard when you got bloodthirsty mutants on the defensive line. He is automatic. Nice kick. Boring. Just getting the points and let's move on. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. The offense is running low on quarterbacks. They have only two left. They might consider running the ball more. 
The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. Yeah, same as Brits' ex girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Yeah, she called it rabbit sex. I took it as a compliment. And then Cats will give them a first down with the vicious kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schwong Galaxy phone. And it's and timeouts are kind of like condoms, you know, Brim? You got to use them smart if you want to score. Let's see if they did. Most kickers should be able to make this one. But will this kicker make it? Find out next time on NFL Game Day. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room, and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. It's the start of the third quarter, and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh, boy! Where are we going, Grim? A carnival? Huh? Uh, I'm going to go to a strip tea show. Where are we going? Hey, why don't you settle down? Just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Just pet your rabbit. <laughs> the best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. Oh, with the brain scrambler. And it's first and ten. First and ten.
And that'll be second down and four. One. And into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pass, he was off to the races. <laughs> and here comes the extra point attempt. Goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Bell. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. One time when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. Second down in a lot. Dead and down. He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message. The messenger killed him. Oh, God, it circles. The offense lost another quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit. Yeah, but on the bright side, win. they save a ton of money by not having to pay those guys anymore. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. The kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just gimmicks. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. They're going to be able to return this one. Oh, he just made mincemeat out of that guy. Hey, what is mincemeat anyway? Is it like bologna? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get a sandwich. The burn returner was killed on that play. The coach will replace him with another player. And it's first and ten. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. Totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the MFL. And it's first and ten. And another interception. This quarterback, oh, and that one's gonna hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math, and there is nothing in the rule book for that penalty. The ref appears to be cheating. He's just making shit up. First and goal. It's a jailbreak, and the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Oh, crowd's loving it. First and ten. That ball was almost intercepted. Second down and ten. Third down and never gonna happen. 
And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. No return on this punt, the defense will just down it. I can't tell if he's smart or scared. Either way, the ball is down. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. Nice pickup for six yards. And that'll be second down and four. Hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. And he picks up maybe four on that play. Oh, man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. Third down and a pussy here. Hot. You've got to catch that. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. The return man catches the ball and heads upfield. Oh, man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Uh, a pack and a Swiss on rye with a uh, no mustard. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. Straight through the uprights. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. The quarterback has had enough and called a murder ball dirty trick to lay. And he's off to the races. He's at the 30. They're gaining on him. Hey, come on, move your ass. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. Boom, dead and down. He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, uh, going in circles. And it's first and ten. Picks up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. Oh my gosh! The defensive player looks like he's lost his mind! Now that boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo! All I need is 77 to fight it! Well, why go for one when you could go for two? It's always been my philosophy, but Bricks can't even get one. Oh, you're talking about points. Oh, I'm not that bad, and then I'm going to get something like that.
The third quarter has ended, and we'll need a huge rally or a high death toll to make this one interesting. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. Oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. When it's your time to go, it's your time. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You now, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. And it's first and ten. Not, not one. sandwich oh no that was totally unnecessary <laughs> i gotta see that one again it was also freaking awesome i hope they have raincoats in the front row because that was splattering everywhere and it's first and ten hot, hot one hot two hot 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 and that's another turnover oh sweet mother of fornicate monkeys he was destroyed on that play oh, yeah. They want more points, so they're going for two. And he runs it in for an easy two points. The momentum in this game may be shifting. right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Ah, uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. The burn returner was killed on that play. The coach will replace him with another player. The defense is down to their last line basher. He's going to have to suck it up and not die out there. They can bribe the refs in this game. Why not bribe the Grim Reaper? And it's first and ten. Oh, and the defense jumps on sides and attacks the QB. And that unsportsmanlike play of the day brought to you by the good folks at Speedy's drive through Funeral Parlor Service, located just off the Beltway, exit five. And the Cadavers don't have enough players, so they'll have to forfeit. That's a big loss at home. It doesn't get any worse than this, unless, uh, Unless they have a DMV appointment later. And let's go down to the field and hear the MVP. He's a real role model for the kids, Bricks. That is, if you want your kids to be a roid raging narcissist with uncontrollable verbal diarrhea. Oh, that personality disorder has a name. It's called autotrumpism. <laughs>